Governor Mohammed Barar Abu Bakr has expressed satisfaction with the cluster farms at Aoyo and Kafin House local government. He made the commendation while speaking with newsmen shortly after inspecting the farms. The governor observed that yield at the cluster farms have doubled that of conventional farms because of technical advice given by extension workers. <laughs> He noted that with the support of extension workers, the farmers are better equipped with modern farming techniques that will increase their yield. The farmers, Adam Uzairu, commended the state government for the initiative, pointed out that it is a step in the right direction. The cluster farms visited are that of Sarawa, Mizan and Hago, where sesam, granite and rice are planted. Meanwhile, Governor Mohammed Badr Abouakar has inspected Senate building, hostels, vice chancellor's lodge, library and staff quarters of Sulalami the University, Kefenhausa. The vice chancellor of the university, Professor Abdullahi Yusuf Ribadu, conducted the governor around the institution and briefed him on the level of work done at the institution. <music> Similarly, the governor also inspected township roads in Kafinhausa and Arawa Baturia Road. The Arawa Baturia Road project was awarded by the previous administration in the at the cost of 11 billion naira, and the contract was divided into three phases. According to the governor, the contract was renegotiated and the company offered 15% discount, which meant the state government to re-mobilize them to the site. In continuation of his working visit to project sites, Governor Muhammad Barar Abakar inspected cluster farms and road project at Kiawa, Kawagama, Malamaduri, and Megata, the local government areas. While inspecting the first phase of Anders Elma Atawami Road project, Governor Muhammad Barar Abakar commended the contractor for a job well done. He explained that his administration has committed about 1.65 billion naira to the project. The consultant handling the project said the first phase will be completed by October this year. Similarly, the governor inspected cluster farms at Kaugama and Malamaduri, where the lead farmers briefed the governor on the level of progress recorded. At Malamaduri, the governor also inspected township roads. The Eastern Bypass, the governor said the total length of the road is about one is about 114 kilometers which was awarded by the previous administration at the cost of over 15 billion naira the first was awarded at the cost of over 4 billion naira and the previous administration paid only about 400 million naira and the present administration paid over 2 billion for the completion of the first phase which was renegotiated and it attracted 10 percent discount on the issue of compensation of mega township road project the governor said it was initially calculated at 40 million naira, but it was recalculated at 10 million naira. 
Jigastad government has completed the installation of runway light at Dusa International Airport. Governor Muhammad Barra Abu Bakar disclosed when he paid an inspection visit to the airport. Explained that the contract was awarded by the previous administration but had an outstanding balance of over 500 million naira, which the present administration have paid over 200 million. Well, all the contracts have uh, been awarded already before we came into office. Uh, we only have to do the outstanding payments. In total, I believe there is uh, about five, six hundred million, five hundred and seventy-eight million naira outstanding on the airport, uh, except for the weather uh, equipment. Uh, the weather equipment uh, we, we bought. The, the contract was awarded by the previous government, but uh, we were at 87 million or so, 86 million or so, and um, uh, we discovered we can do it at a better price, and uh, we managed to cancel the other contract and uh, uh, bought it at about uh, 17 million. Uh, that is a part, but uh, all the other activities, all the other jobs that remain, including the runway light, the conveyors and all others uh, have been completed today and uh, there is an outstanding of about uh, uh, 570 which I believe we have paid about uh, 200 now so we will be willing to pay them the balance of the money when they properly hand over the other aspects of the job.